Why is it that I always find science experiments that not only entertain the family, but annoy them at the same time? We're looking at the science of sound. You're gonna need two soda bottles like this, glass soda bottles. The only difference is this one is empty, this one has water inside. What's vibrating? Why? To make sound vibration. Well, it's not the water because this is vibrating as well. It's the column of air. That's right. It's the air that's in the bottle. The bigger the column of air to vibrate here, the lower the sound. This is a, a smaller column of air. The higher the sound. If you change the air, the amount of air. Oh, look at that. A little bit lower. Look at this. Not bad, right? But what if we were to make the glass vibrate? Now we have bottles with three different amounts in there. Remember, it was a little bit lower, right, when we didn't have as much in there, but listen to this. That's high, that's low. Now we're vibrating the glass. The water's actually slowing down. Vibrations, you know where I'm going. Absolutely, you know where I'm going. Because anything worth doing is worth overdoing. You just have to organize them in some sort of order here. Ready? Okay, here we go. I think this is gonna work. I told you this would be fun. Try this. Not bad. Let's see if we got it. Look at that. Tip your waitress. I'll be here all week. It's the science of sound using bottles, air vibrating, water dampening, the glass vibrating. Tell me you want to do it. I know you do. I'm Steve Spangler, and that is your musically annoying Science Minute. Oopsie. <laughs>